Welcome to your cognitive screening assessment. Today we will be testing for any cognitive dysfunction you may be experiencing. The test will assess several cognitive domains such as attention and concentration, executive functions, memory, language, and so on. I will only repeat instructions once, so please make sure you are paying attention. Before we begin, I'm going to hand you a pen and a piece of scratch paper that I'll have you use several times throughout the test. Are you ready? Okay. Here is your pen. And here is your scratch paper. All right. We are going to start with some orientation questions. Please answer the following to the best of your ability. Can I have your name? Can I have your date of birth? What is your highest level of completed education? What is your ethnicity? Have you had any problems with your memory or thinking? Have you had any blood relatives that have had problems with their memory or their thinking? Do you have balance problems? Have you had a change in personality? Can I have today's date? The month, the day, and the year. of the week is it currently? What city are we currently in? What country are we currently in? Who is the current U.S. President. What season is it currently? Can you tell me something that has happened recently on the news? Can you tell me something that you personally did yesterday? And can you tell me what 
we are doing right now. you to take a look at this piece of paper for me. We have several circles with numbers and letters in them. I want you to draw a line going from one circle to another, alternating numbers and letters going in descending order. For example, you'll go from 1 to A to 2 to B and so on. You will begin at 1 and end at F. You can use your pen to complete this exercise. Have you completed the exercise? you to have a look at the animals on this piece of paper. What is this animal right here? Good. And can you tell me where you would find this animal? Good. Next, can you have a look this animal right here. What is that? Good. Can you tell me where you would find that animal? Good. And lastly, this animal right here. What is that? Good. And where would you find that animal? a look at these three objects or tools. Can you tell me what this object is? And what is that typically used for? Good. And the middle object right here? What is that? Okay, and what is it typically used for? Good. And the last object right here, what is that? And what is that object typically used for? Excellent. you pull out your scratch paper. Okay. I would like you to draw me a clock on your scratch paper with all the numbers in place. And I would like the hands on that clock to be showing half past 10. You 
can take your time with this picture and let me know when you are finished. Have you completed it? Okay. Okay, excellent. Now, I have this image right here of a cube. I would like you to copy this image as best you can on your scratch paper for me. You can take your time once again and let me know when you have completed it. We will be doing a few memory exercises. I am going to read a list of words that you will have to remember now and later on. When I am finished listing the words, I would like you to tell me all the words that you remember. The order that you repeat them in does not matter, so you can tell me them in any order you would like. Face, velvet, church, daisy, red. Can you repeat them back to me? Excellent. Now, I am going to repeat those same words again. And just like before, you will repeat them after me in any order. Face Velvet, church, daisy, red. Good. In a few minutes, I'm going to ask you to once again repeat those words back to me. Next, we will be doing some attention exercises. First, I'm going to list a sequence of numbers. When I finish, I am going to have you repeat those numbers back to me in the same order as I said them. Two, one, eight, five, four. Okay. Now, 
I am going to list another sequence of numbers and I will have you repeat them after me. But when I do, I would like you to repeat them in the opposite order. So for example, if I say one, two, three, I would like you to repeat three, two, one. Seven, four, two. Very good. Next, I'm going to list a series of letters. When you hear letter A. I would like you to simply tap your hand. If I do not say the letter A, do not tap your hand. Ready? F, B, A, C, M, N, A, A, J, K, L, B, A, F, A, K, D, E, A, 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 J, A, M, O, F, A, A, B. Good. All right. Now, I will ask you to count by subtracting seven from 100, then seven more from that answer, and so on until I ask you to stop. Take your time, begin whenever you are ready. Next, can you tell me how many quarters would be in eight dollars and seventy five cents? Good. And if I paid or an item at a store with a $5 bill and that item was a dollar and 92 cents. How much change would I receive? Now, we are going to be repeating some sentences. I will read you a sentence and I want you to repeat it after I do. Sentence one. Judy met an interesting turtle while the song on the radio 
blasted away. But, right, and sentence number two. Various sea birds are elegant, but nothing is as elegant as a gliding pelican. All right. Next, I am going to ask you to take out your scratch paper once again, and I am going to have you create a sentence. It can be about anything you want it to, but it must have proper grammar and include a subject and a predicate. You may begin when you're ready. Now, I want you to tell me as many words as you can think of that begin with the letter R. I will tell you to stop after 60 seconds. Numbers and different forms of verbs do not are you ready? Okay, you may begin. You can stop. Very good. Now, I would like you to list 15 different fruits and vegetables. You may start when you're ready. There is no time limit for this exercise. Very good. All right. Next, we are going to test your abstraction skills. 
I am going to list a pair of words and I would like you to tell me what these words have in common with one another and then I would like you to tell me how these words are different. Okay. Number one, watch and ruler. And how are they different? train and bicycle. Indifferent? Okay. Set number three. Hammer and screw. And lastly, I am going to ask that you recall the five words I had you repeat in the previous exercise. concludes your cognitive assessment. Thank you for coming in and your provider will be in contact with you soon to discuss your results. If you would please put all of your scratch paper and other test materials I've given you right under the stack of paper. Thank you. Once again, thank you for coming in and testing with us. And we will see you again soon.